Okay, so first of all, these numbers here are the area of the squares. And in order to do this, we need to know the height and the width of these squares. So we will take the square root of these numbers. And these numbers here will be the length of the sides of the squares. However, these numbers are a little bit too big, so I am going to divide them all by 10 before I square root them, so that the numbers will be a little bit smaller, but the size of the squares will still be proportional to each other. Then I'll make all of these columns a little bit thinner, then go to Insert and Illustrations and Shapes and select the rectangle. Then hold down shift while drawing this shape to draw a square. Then go to size and tick the lock aspect ratio. Now when I change the height to this number here, the width will also change. And now we'll format this square, so remove the outline and change the shape fill to a dark green. Then double click on the shape to type in the number 21. Then we'll format this text. So change the font to Arial and make it black and make it slightly bigger. And then align it to the bottom and the right. Then go to Shape, Format and Align and select Snap to Grid. And this will make it so that the shape will line up with the grid lines underneath. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate the shape and we'll change the height of this one to match the second number here. So this will become 2.63. And then line this shape up with the other one. We can also hold down Ctrl and click and drag to make a copy of the square and change this one to 2.92 and line this shape up as well. And then for the final one, this will be changed to 4.44 centimeters and line this up here. Then change the color of the squares. So this one will be light green and this one will be dark orange and this one will be light orange. Then we'll change the numbers. So this here needs to be 69. This has to be 85 and this has to be 197. Then we'll align the numbers. So this one needs to be aligned to the left, this one to the top, and then this one to the left and the top. Then we'll create two lines to look like axes. So go to Insert and Illustrations and Shapes and select the line and then click and drag to draw the line. And because we still have Snap to Grid switched on, this will line up with the grid lines underneath. Change it to black and make the line a little bit thicker. And we know that this line is in the middle as there are four columns on this side and four columns on this side. Then select the line and press Ctrl D to duplicate it and then move the second line and line it up with the first line so that they are both in the exact same place. Then go to Shape, Format and Rotate and Rotate 90 degrees. And now we have two lines crossing each other. The next step is to add in labels for each of the squares. So go to Insert and Insert a text box. And we'll now switch off the Snap to Grid and I'll make the text box equal to this value here. And then we'll format this, so remove the shape outline and the shape fill, go to home and align the text to the center, change the font to Arial and make it bold and change the color to dark green. And then hold down Control and click and drag to make another copy of the text box and change the cell reference for this one to D5. 
Then we'll do this two more times. So this one will be D6 and this one will be D7. Then select the first text box and double click on the Format Painter. Then click on each of the other text boxes to copy the formatting. And then press Escape to exit the Format Painter. And now we just need to change the colour of the text. So this will be light green, this will be dark orange, and this will be light orange. And then position the text boxes. Then go to View and remove the grid lines. Then select one of the shapes and press Ctrl A to select all of the other shapes. Then go to Shape Format and Group and group them all together. And now we can move them all together. OK, so in this video I have shown you how to make a four quadrant square chart in Excel. And that is everything.